You always know how to make me laugh. <laughs> it's my specialty. <laughs> there are always some people who try to control everything. We usually call them control freak, right? In robotics, in our beloved robot partners, the world of beloved robot partners, lab robots, there is something called control algorithms. And this control algorithms has nothing to do with those control freak persons. So what is control algorithms? We are going to talk about that algorithms in this video. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. At its core, a robot is a machine. We know that. that so a machine always needs to move from a desired point A to point B. And a robot partner, whenever you buy a robot partner, you want it to move from your garden to your bedroom or from your bedroom to your garden. But how does it do that without overshooting its target and reacting too slowly? And the answer lies in control algorithms. So think of this control algorithm as a robot's sense of balance and muscle memory, constantly working to ensure its movements are stable precise and efficient and you know when you if you really want to have some fun with your robot partners there are some physical activities okay you try to you want your robot partner to uh, give you company in while you are exercising while you are lying on your bed and do something other stuff that i cannot say here i hope you understand but in those movements, the robot partners should be stable, number one, should be precise and efficient. And this control algorithms, the role of control algorithms is such that it controls this precision, this stability and this efficiency. The most fundamental concept is feedback control. It is also related to uh, control algorithms. It's a simple yet powerful loop. If you are a computer person, you know about what loop does. While loop, for loop, you have, uh, you may have heard of them. But basically, there are three categories. One is sense, second is compare, and third is act. Firstly, sense. The robot uses sensors that controls this type of sensors, of course, like encoders on its motors or cameras to determine its current state, its position, speed and orientation. What is that? That means what is doing, what I'm doing now, what kind of task I'm uh, going to do in the future, in the near future, or from where I'm supposed to go from where to where, this type of things, okay? Secondly, compare. Compare means it compares the actual state to the desired state that I just said that suppose a robot thinks like, okay, I am I am supposed to go from uh, garden to bedroom and lie beside uh, my human partner. Okay. So if that is the desired state, so it has to compare this actual state that is it is in now in the garden, but it is about to go to the bedroom therefore actual state to desired state they compare it and it is actually how it how they compare they compare it by because they are given some instructions who gave them instructions you give them give it an instruction like hey mr robot partner please come to my bed okay so it is 
it was standing in the garden amidst the flowers and it turned back and coming to your bedroom. For what? I won't say. Now, the difference between these two states is called the error. You, you, might, you might wonder why it is called error. In fact, I don't know why it is called error. Because this difference, that means act from actual state to desired state, this difference is called error in robotic stuff. Okay, I will definitely try to explain it further in other video. Of course, I will I'll have to see it. Okay, why it is called error. Second and third thing, sorry, the final thing is act. The control algorithm calculates the necessary correction and sends a command to the motors to reduce this error. That means actually it is called error because sometimes this act from actual state to desired state doesn't match. That is why it is called error basically. So, control algorithm calculates the necessary correction and sends a command to the motors to reduce this error so that the uh, so that your robot partner be stable, precise and efficient. So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let us continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and do not forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.